And my wife, again, we just know how we work together. And we both are servant husband, servant wife, and we love to serve one another. That's awesome, man. I love that. Yeah, there, there's always a cost, I think, to, to winning. And, and I've, I've really realized that over the last few years of self-improvement, where, where if I want to win at a certain area of my life, right? Like I, I want to win at faith. I have a big faith and that's a very important thing. That means less time, you know, mindlessly watching alien videos on YouTube, which I enjoy sometimes or going down yeah. these rabbit holes, right? Like I, I got to watch sermons. I got to read the Bible. I, I got to do some of these things, which means cutting out other things. And if you want to have a world-class marriage, as you say, mm. it's going to require something. You, you're going to have to leave something out. One of the wisest guys I ever talked to told me, you know, you can't win at all three things. You can win it at work, your family, and hobbies. You got to pick two out of three of those things because you won't be successful at all of them. And I kind of found that true. Like, you know, for a long time, I, I prioritized work and my friends and hobbies and did my stuff and my family suffered. And now I've kind of given that up and said, you know what, I'm going to win at my family and I'm going to win at work. And, and, you know, when my friends can come join us for a family walk or for a hike or meet me at the gym, that's cool. But I, I'm just going to prioritize the things that take me in the direction I want to go for my life. And I think there's always a cost to it. And I kind of like how you said that, but it's different Man, for everybody too. That's total wisdom. You cannot have it all. Yeah. I'm the same way. You can't, you can't have it all. And yeah. so I grew up golfing. I used to love to golf. Same. I golf twice a year and now with my son. Hmm. I mean, that's it. I, I gave up golfing because yep. I was not going to become buddy buddies with my guy friends and take three or four hours doing that a few times a week. Yep. That was not, you know, on my deathbed, I was not going to say, man, I wish I had lowered my handicap, you know, down <laughs> to this. So I just totally gave it up. But now again, once your kids get older, you can incorporate them and do stuff with them. You know, again, as your kids get older, they're going to do different sports. You can be the coach. I, I was coaching many of my kids' teams. That's and awesome. I was doing that together with them. Yeah. But yeah, powerful. You can't have it all. And man, don't get fired by your spouse. Don't get fired by your kids. Yeah. And your kids will fire you in different ways if you are not making them number one in your life. Yeah, I, I got really addicted to golf before I met my wife. And I was playing six days a week, 18 holes. I got a, I got a swing coach. I took lessons. I, I was yeah. really into it. I was, I was down to like a six, seven, eight handicap. And then you know, we had our first daughter and I remember selling my clubs when she was three months old. And I, and I told my wife, I, I don't want to spend four hours with away like every week and a couple times yeah. a week and do this. And I told her, I'll pick it back up. You know, maybe our kids get into it at some point and I'll yeah. play with them. Or maybe when they all leave someday and we're retired, we can go do it. But, but again, yeah, everything has that cost, you know? 